Hey, in today's video, we're going to be looking at tethered shooting and more specifically, the equipment that you need to get your camera's images straight to your computer whilst doing a photo shoot. Now, tethered shooting is something almost all professionals do. Taking the chance that your image is going to be perfectly in focus, that the exposure is going to be bang on from that little screen on the back of your camera is just too much of a risk for most of us to take, so we shoot tethered. It also allows us to flag images that we, we think are good, that the client thinks good. It lets us do a rough edit, sometimes overlay some text if it's a magazine cover. And it generally means that when we leave the shoot, we know that we've got the image exactly how we want it before the client goes home. There is nothing worse than coming home from a shoot, uploading the images, going for that one photo that you know you've got absolutely perfect and realizing you're a centimeter out of focus. Now I'm so keen on tethering that I'm actually tethering this video here. I'm not sure if you can actually see the screen, but I can see myself on this screen whilst I'm shooting video over here. And this is all connected by this orange cable, and this is from a company called Tether Tools. Now, I don't know much about tech, but I do know that when I bought a Tether Tools cable over an Amazon Basics cable, everything just worked a little bit different. Now, Lightroom in particular is a little bit temperamental, but with these Tether Tool cables, they work much better. They're also bright orange, and if you work in a studio like this, and everything's set up on tripods, people walk around stuff, they're jumping around, and it's very easy to kick the cable. Now the next thing that you need to go along with your Tether Tools cable is this here, it's a jerk stopper. It'll seem obscenely expensive for what it is, it's just a bit of plastic on a string. And then under here I've got a special little Tether Tools device which clamps the cable down for double security. Now the reason I have two of these is because I skimped in the past. And replacing on a Canon, this USB port here means the whole PC board coming out and being replaced. And that's about four to 500 pounds. I was breaking two of them a year, so every year I was spending a thousand pounds having USB ports repaired because I was too tight to spend 25 pounds on a jerk stopper. Now I've tried all the usual stuff, the gaffer taping and all the rest, but this is just the, the best system I've found so far. So this is how I'm connecting my camera, it's USB 3 in here, and the other side of this goes down into my laptop which is hiding beneath this desk, and then this monitor is purely to look at, there's no computer attached apart from the laptop. Now I shoot from this straight to here using Capture One and it works absolutely flawlessly. So what I'm gonna do now is show you around my tether trolley and explain all the little bits that I've purchased to make this a seamless procedure during shoots and generally just to make my life a little bit better and a little bit less stressful when I've got a creative director breathing down my neck. So I'm gonna talk you through this from camera to hard drive as it were, or even to plug sockets as what we're actually going to see. So over here, I've got my Canon 5DS with my 100 millimeter Zeiss attached to it. And this is on a geared tripod head. And the geared tripod head is attached to my salon stand. And this is sort of the, the all singing, all dancing way to do flat lays. If somebody walks into this, they're gonna come off worse than my camera. So it's a great setup for in here, especially for me, because I'm particularly clumsy. And this orange cable here feeds us down. I'm gonna see if my hand will go through here, Whee! into this here, which is my laptop, and onto this rugged drive here as a backup. So I'm creating two copies as I shoot through Capture One. You probably have a USB cable that will tether your camera to your computer already in your house. Give it a go with that first. I'm gonna do an actual video of how to run the software and how to actually manage the files separately because that, that's a whole other topic in itself. But I'm sure you've got the kit to get going on that. Now. This monitor here has a shade on it, and when I don't have the monitor, I use just a laptop, and with that, having those think tank pop-up tents. And the reason for those, as well as blocking out the glare from these windows back here, is to stop peeping toms. I don't want the stylist, I don't want the assistant, I don't want the client looking at my images when I know that I'm trying to work something out, telling me something I already know. I want to have the almost privacy to get on with my work, do the bits I need to do, and just not feel too flustered by the whole process. So these here, as well as being great for that, they keep the shade, you know. Now, the whole thing is built around this trolley here. I've had a few different trolleys in the past. I've had tables that have set up, had an old speakers rack with a plank of wood on top of it, which looked cool, but was useless. I then had a very quaint gin trolley, sort of like the 1960s Art Deco thing. Looked beautiful, was useless. This here is a catering trolley. I'm gonna pop a link to it in the description because they're incredibly cheap for what they are. For less than hundred pounds, you get one of these, they're absolutely bomb-proof, and they'll probably last a lifetime. So on this, I've got my BenQ monitor. I've got loads of these um, super clamps. There's one here. There's a couple around this side as well. 
And I have those pretty much all over the studio. So for example, today I've got a mic in this one. Um, sometimes I'll have a camera in the one over there. And it just lets me quickly attach things here without having to worry about, you know, I don't know, anything. I just plonk it in and I'm good to go. So beneath this, I have my MacBook Pro. And the MacBook Pro is the heart of the whole operation. It is a computer that I use for all of my editing and all of my shooting. And the only difference is it's sometimes connected to this monitor, sometimes it's not connected to a monitor, and sometimes I'm sat on a train with it trying to do admin as I travel along. So that's those two tiers there. Now, what you can't see on the bottom tier is a multi-socket, which is Velcro taped onto it. This allows me to charge my phone, power my laptop, power my monitor, and also power the speakers on the bottom of this because the speakers are not Bluetooth, they're cable speakers, which will only connect to my laptop. And there's a reason why I've not moved for the times, despite the fact that everyone knows I'm a bit of a technophobe. It's because I had some Bluetooth speakers and everybody connected their music to it. And when you're stressed and when you're working on something and it's really difficult, you don't want someone's crap music playing in the background. I'm in charge of the music, my tether table, my speakers, my music. So when I'm stressed, I can put something on that I know is going to help me relax or at least not make me more pissed off at life. The next thing I have in here, I'm going to pop on my knee because I don't want the microphone to be banged around too much, but it's this really cool toolbox and I bought it from Ikea and I bought it because it looked pretty. I know, very shallow, but that's why I bought this. So this beautiful wooden toolbox here contains all the bits that I need. So we've got a not very good, but very beautiful vintage screwdriver for removing tripod plates. e towel because I'm always making a mess. Got an intervalometer because I love running time lapses. I'll probably try and sneak a time lapse into this video somewhere. A ginormous clip that you need two hands to open or incredible strength that I don't have. A Sharpie and an A clamp because they're both always needed. And then the last two bits of kit are these. This is my x right color checker. I'm gonna do an entire video on this. If you want to get your colors right, do subscribe because I'm gonna go through exactly how to nail colors in still images. And then I have a flash meter. I have a love and hate relationship with these things. They're completely pointless yet entirely necessary. I'm gonna go through these in a separate video as to why you do need them and also why most of us just don't need them. I've only ever needed it really on two or three different jobs, but it's when you're doing very precise work and you need to reproduce it on multiple occasions. They're very useful. So that's my tether trolley setup. It's how I get my images from my camera to here during my shooting. Now I've done a separate video on my workflow and on that I explain how my shooting drive goes to the rest of the system. My shooting drive is this orange thing down here. So if you go and watch that video next, you'll be able to see how I take this drive with my images on it and back it up to the rest of my system. I hope this is of some use to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and I'll see you all next time.